Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I wanna to go through some amazing cosmetic packaging innovations with you. Now we're seeing some great innovations from multiple suppliers around the world. We're also seeing some innovations in the area of refillable cosmetic packaging. And we're also seeing some of the larger brands in particular make a recycling packaging commitment within a certain time frame. So the news is all good and it's definitely heading in the right direction. But today I wanted to introduce you to a couple of innovative types of packaging plastics from my good friends at Well Trade Packaging. Now again, this is not the only supplier of these sorts of innovations, but they were kind enough to send me some samples that I can show you and talk you through some of the benefits and choices you have when wanting to select innovative packaging concepts. Well, first of all, they of course have a huge range of 100% recycled materials, but we're gonna get much more exciting than that. The first one I want to introduce you to here is a totally biodegradable plastic in a very short time frame. So what's the big difference? Well, normally when you're using plastic packaging, it will normally take 100 years plus in landfill to degrade completely. This packaging here, by comparison, has been shown to biodegrade in landfill within six to 10 years. Completely gone, no resins, no microplastics, no trace of this packaging again. Now this particular biodegradable packaging is available in all sorts of plastic forms. Your PET, your LDPE, your HDPE, even PP. So you can get tubes, bottles, jars, so much more. So there you go, there's a biodegradable option, totally biodegradable within six to 10 years. As you can see, you can get beautiful clarity, you can screen print directly onto it. And this is the first example of our innovative packaging concepts. Now the next innovation I want to introduce you to is their PCR tubes. Now PCR stands for post-consumer resin or more commonly known as post-consumer recycled plastics. And they have this available as a 50% PCR recycled option in tubes or a 30% option that can be used for bottles as HDPE. Now one of the great things about using PCR materials is that they perform, look, feel, everything exactly as the non-recycled version, but you can of course get part of the material as the recycled version. So you're saving some of the materials that would otherwise go into landfill and turning them into another bottle or tube. Now these can come in a variety of colors, they can be screen printed onto, they will look and perform exactly like the non-recycled versions. But you've of course got the benefit of letting your consumers know that you have recycled materials in this packaging with the same beautiful texture, color, and ability to have all sorts of colors or screen printing applied to your packaging. Next is a really cool one, and this is sugarcane bioplastic. And this of course comes 100% from sugarcane. So it's a great way of using crops that have a fast turnover to create our plastic tubes. Now these come as LDPE or HDPE, or can be a blended option of both. They can also come as single layer or five layer tubes. So they're very durable, quite sturdy. And of course you can get all sorts of different lid options for presentation of the product as well. Now these come in a variety of Pantone colors and they can also be screen printed onto as well. Another great thing about sugarcane bioplastics is they are completely recyclable. So not only are we sourcing the materials from sugarcane, which is a very easy to replace crop, but we're then able to recycle the plastic that's created for future tubes, even our PCR models, for example, from a sugarcane derivative in the first place. Now another fantastic innovation, and I love it when I see upcycling happening, and this is ocean waste packaging. So what they do is they source the old ropes or old ocean waste from fish nets or trawls, and then they break that right down and then they can create plastics from this. Now, one of the features about this is you, you compare it to say sugarcane bioplastic, which is a very high quality opaque type of packaging or even our PCR, which of course is just like the non-recycled versions. 
These ones have a fantastic little fleck through them. Hopefully you can see there is this natural fleck that occurs. Now this can't be avoided, but you would know from dealing with a lot of your consumers that want more natural products, they actually like to see a fleck in their packaging. It's a way of them knowing that, hey, this is recycled or upcycled, and I know that there is exactly what they're saying in here, like ocean nets or other waste, has been recycled and turned into a really good use, the packaging. So these are HDPE tubes. They will look and perform and feel just like your other HDPE plastics, but of course they have up to 50% ocean plastic waste used to create the plastic tube. They're available in an assortment of colors and you can screen print directly onto them. You will still achieve that great little natural fleck to the packaging, but I think it's a great advantage to have in your recycled packaging because it lets your consumer see, hey, this really is the real deal and there is recycled materials in here and it's a great natural look as well. And they are also, of course, fully recyclable. So we're upcycling the ocean waste, we're turning them into useful packaging, and then they can be recycled to be used again. So these are some of the examples of the packaging innovations coming from World Trade Packaging in particular. There are, of course, multiple suppliers around the world with their innovations too. So you can ask for biodegradable, PCR, sugarcane bioplastic, or there may be some other innovative materials they're using in other parts of the world, and ocean waste plastic, so that you can let your consumers know you really do care and help the environment in the process. I hope you found this video helpful. Please look at those recyclable, sustainable, or other innovative cosmetic packaging options because consumers are increasingly asking for it, and it's a part of our responsibility to the environment to look for these sustainable and recyclable choices when we're next making our packaging selections. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.